Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I just wanted to tell you that it's been six months since I put this 24 volt system together. It's been six months. Can you believe that? That is crazy. But what I wanted to do is I just wanted to go over my system and kind of give you a six month update on what all is involved with this system. Uh, first I wanted to let you know that I have 2600 watts of solar panels outside. Uh, actually, let's go check those out right now. All right, so here are all my solar panels. As you can see, I have three separate sets of solar panels. Uh, that's why I have three different charge controllers. Uh, the first set is right here, and this one is uh, actually wired in uh, two S2P configurations since Two of them are facing south and two of them are facing, uh, I would say, mostly east. Just because I kind of ran out of room and I tried to capture some of that morning sun. Um, and then I have another set right here. These are actually, these are wired in 4S configuration. They are also 200 watts, so that's 800 more watts of panels. And then lastly, I have uh, 1,000 watts of panels right here, the 250 each. They are also wired in uh, 2S2P configuration. That way I don't have to worry about going over the voltage of my solar charge controller. And uh, these are the panels, they're polycrystalline. They're the ones that I got for 53 bucks. And uh, they've, been, they've been producing uh, just, as, just as well or better than my monocrystalline brand new panels. So if you need to get panels for the cheap, go ahead and get those. All right, let's go back inside. Okay, and now those solar panels, they feed these three solar charge controllers, but they do go through uh, three circuit breakers because I like to be able to isolate my solar panels from the whole system. But they do go into these three solar charge controllers. I have two uh, 30 amp charge controllers and one 50 amp charge controller. Um, and then they come down into uh, another set of circuit breakers. That way I can, uh, I can isolate the bottom half of my system from my my solar charge controllers and then from there they go to these bus bars these bus bars i mean they're rock solid i've never had an issue at all with them i would say from there let's just say they go into my two 12 volt 300 amp hour chins batteries these batteries have been great i don't i don't have a single complaint about these batteries uh you know i've i've dropped them down to 10, 15 percent, uh, and then raise them all the way up to 80, 90 percent in the same day with no problems. They've just worked. That's all they do is work, and that's great. From there, these big guys, they power up my uh, 24 volt, 3000 uh, watt pure sine wave inverter from uh, Reliable. Again, this thing, like the name says, it's been reliable. It's it's run everything I've I've pushed at it. Uh, for the last six months. Uh, as you can see, I've got a couple of things plugged into it and it's also hardwired into this panel right here. And then actually wired from my off-grid inverter, I have it wired to a circuit breaker. And then from that circuit breaker, I have a uh, grid tie inverter. I use this when I notice that my batteries, it's a really sunny day and I notice that my batteries are starting to get up to the top level. So I turn this on and I can turn it on remotely and I do that so that way uh, I'm pretty much using, I'm, I'm using the full extent of the sun is basically what I'm doing. And there's some, there are some days when I turn this thing on, I turn it on at 10 o'clock in the morning and I turn it off at 9 o'clock at night. And then that way my battery gets up to 80% and then it drops back down to about 50% by 9 o'clock. I bought this thing, it was super, super cheap. It was, uh, you know, I think it was a, less than $100. And I did not know if it was really going to work that well. And this thing has worked great. I would say I've had it for about a little over a month, for about five weeks now. And uh, again, this thing just works. I do recommend having a fan blowing into it at all times, though. Because uh, this little tiny fan right here, I don't think it disperses the heat uh, as much as it should. Especially when it's wired directly to batteries. This is really made for 
uh, wiring to solar panels, but I have it wired directly to batteries, so it's running at 100% all the time. Uh, so fan, definitely, definitely worth it. Also want to say that uh, I, you know, I have a, a 24 volt to 12 volt reducer. Uh, it powers all my 12 volt devices, which is my whole, my 12 volt fuse block right here. That, that, that powers my, uh, my 12 volt lights. I have USB plugins. It's also uh, running my Raspberry Pi, which again, for the last six months, this thing's been on. It's been keeping track of all my stats, all my numbers. Uh, every day I can go back in the last six months and I can see exactly what I produced that day. I can see if I had an issue with shading on the solar panels. It's, uh, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of equipment. It also uses information from your, your smart shunt. I have a, uh, a Victron 500 amp smart shunt that works well with my Victron solar charge controllers. Everything kind of just communicates together and speaks to my Raspberry Pi. Uh, again, I cannot recommend it enough. It's always, it's so nice to be able to look at your phone or look at your computer and see exactly what you're producing, what you're, what you're wasting. And then also what I have is my, uh, my Victron battery balancer. This battery balancer, uh, it's, it basically just checks the voltages of these two batteries. Once the whole system gets up above 27.6 volts. I never push my batteries all the way up to um, up to 100%. Um, I usually only get them up to about 85 to 90%. So that's when this battery balancer kicks in and it kind of regulates the voltages between the two. And I know that the voltages of a you know, lithium ion phosphate battery, the, the, you know, the, the curve is super flat, but this really kicks in right at the very edge where that curve really starts to push up. And since I don't charge up all the way, this is really nice because it, it just starts to get over that, that upper curve. And, uh, and this kind of regulates that part of it right there. All right, yeah, this is my whole system. Again, it's been working great. Um, I wanted to let you know that I do have a diagram of this whole setup on my website, offgridbasement.com. Um, I would recommend that you go to it if you want to see the diagram or if you want to learn any more information about this setup. And lastly, I just wanted to tell you thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, please hit that like button. And if you like this content and you want to see more of it, please subscribe. It really helps out. Uh, I hope you all have a great day. Bye-bye.